So in Abiro, they are lucky enough to have great sounding rooms. Uh, so the main sound that we get from the orchestras is actually ca uh, coming from the room mics. So I got at the moment seven room mics to cover the whole orchestra and the Which whole room. Which you can kind of see through there, right? Yeah, you see a few stands. Yeah. Um, they sort of by they are higher up the orchestra. Oh yeah. And then also, just in case there is, for example, a cello part that I need to bring out. I mm. got four. Uh, I got spot mics, as they call it, yeah. on every single desk. So I got uh, two mics for the violin on the left, two mics for the violin on the right, yeah. and so on. Um, so that allows me to dig, sort of, to dig to dig into the instrument if I need yeah. to do it. I also have got some reverbs, which is sort of additional roominess, if you wish, uh, to make this this room sounds like a bigger room, which sometimes is what people are after. Materay says, you've mentioned the room sound clarity and the room mics. Does this mean you don't have to do floor mics for individual instruments, et cetera? Uh, floor mics, as, uh, some people call them floor mics, some people call them spot mics. I have, for example, a mic about a meter from the violin, which is what is called spot mic. Yeah. Uh, I tend not to go too close on instruments like this because they can get a bit scratchy and could get the, get the bow noise. But on other instruments, I would go a lot closer. So yeah, we definitely do a blend of uh, room mics and spot mics or floor mics, yeah. as you call. 